Welcome back from the break. This week's U.S. Air Force Player of the Week goes to Tres Barrera from Sherryland in a big win over Annenberg Economides. He threw for 296 yards, four touchdowns, and he had the winning touchdown to win the game at the end. He is also involved in our U.S. Air Force Play of the Week. Here you can see Tres Barrera is rolling out to the left. A little misdirection here. The inside receiver comes across. He throws it back. Lyman giving plenty of protection. He just runs into the end zone untouched. Good job, Mr. Barrera. This week's U.S. Army Leadership Award goes to Coach Bush from PSJ North. Coach Bush has been doing this for a long time, and he's well-deserving of this award. Good job, Coach Bush. Uh, I think I think coaching is is all about motivation and uh, and keeping the kids uh, motivated. Leadership. Uh, my dad was a football coach. I grew up in a in a home uh, uh, where my dad uh, provided a lot of leadership and and around football players. And so certainly it's been a been a lifetime passion for me. And one of the great uh, rewards from coaching is running into players from past years, whether it be from PSJ or from Alice or from Gregory Portland or many places that I've been, and uh, and having them uh, talk about the uh, the positive influence that a coach has been on their lives. I've had uh, kids call me over the years and, uh, and tell me what a difference that, that I've made, and that certainly certainly makes you feel good. I was a head coach and athletic director for 29 straight years, always in one high school towns. I think I'd gone through a little bit of burnout and, uh, and took a couple years off and and uh, sat on the porch and uh, watched the sun come up every morning and, and said, you know, if I ever get a chance to coach again, I, I'm going to just have a good time with the kids. I was too hard on the kids. I felt like a lot of times I was too hard on the coaches and just wanted to have a good time. That's kind of my philosophy coming back here. And uh, we try to enjoy the kids and uh, they keep you young. And uh, it's been great to reconnect with the coaches of the Rio Grande Valley again. A lot of great coaches down here. So it's been a great experience getting back in and uh, has certainly uh, uh, Help me feel like I'm still having a little bit of impact on kids. I think a head coach's uh, number one job is to be a leader of coaches and uh, to be a mentor for coaches. And someone, you know, with all the years that I've got, uh, I think uh, that that I appreciate the coach's respect and uh, and, and I think that uh, that I tell them every day, you know, enthusiasm is contagious. That come out with a lot of enthusiasm, and uh, and the kids are going to be as enthusiastic as the coaches, and and they have the opportunity every day to to have an impact on on, on kids' lives, and and certainly with. Uh, with the education that we provide for kids in the classroom, that this is a strong part of the education out here. We teach a lot about teamwork. We're teaching a lot about uh, about hard work and dedication is what brings success. And uh, they're learning lifetime lessons of discipline and uh, a lot of values that are going to stay with them for the rest of their lives, just like the education in the classroom. All right, we'll be going into break. When we come back, we'll try to predict who's going to win next week. Turf toe is injury to the soft tissue surrounding the big toe. It's commonly associated with athletes who play on artificial turf, hence the name turf toe. However, it can happen to anyone who participates in activities that would cause the big toe to be hyperextended beyond its normal range of motion. It is most commonly associated with athletes who play on artificial turf, hence the name turf toe. However, it can occur to anyone who is performing activity that causes the big toe to hyperextend beyond its normal range of motion. Symptoms include pain, swelling, possible pop, and the movement of the big toe is limited. Treatment includes plenty of rest and ice to decrease the pain and swelling. Physical therapy will also be implemented to restore the motion to the big toe and strength to ultimately return the athlete to his or her optimal performance. Proper footwear, including inserts, can be used in prevention of turf toe. Examination of posture and gait by a licensed physical therapist can also be used in the prevention of turf toe. If you have any other questions regarding turf toe or any other injuries, please stop in our office or give us a call.